tutorial, I will be showing you how you can simulate fireworks using Python. There will be some math behind how the fireworks will look like. This video will be 2D fireworks. In my next video, I will be showing you how you can simulate beautiful 3D fireworks. First, I will run my program so you can see what the results will look like. So this is a very basic 2D firework where these lines come out in the shape of a circle. And this will just keep on shooting more and more fireworks until we close this tab. Now, let's have a look at my other program where the 2D fireworks are a bit more realistic. Here you can see the lines come out in the shape of a parabola. I mean, yes. After we, after we learn the basics as to how we can create these kind of fireworks, we can go crazy and create some interesting fireworks that we like. Here's an example. Now, sometimes I would do that. I have to run it again. Before we jump into how we can create these, we'll first have a look at the functions for some of our crucial shapes to create these fireworks. Here are a few of the shapes I used to create my fireworks. First we have the basic circle. So in my first program we have the lines coming out in the shape of a circle. And the function for the circle is x square plus y square equals r square. With this function, we can modify the shape of our circle in our program. Same goes for the rest of these things. You can see I have the function for a line. It's ax plus by plus c equals zero. Now, for my parabola, you can see I have I had that program where our lines come out in the shape of a parabola. It's y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Here you can see I have a hyperbola. It's like two parabolas facing each other. It's x squared minus y squared equals r squared. Finally, here I have my ellipse. And the function for an ellipse is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared should equal to 1. Now all of these functions you see here, here's a general form for any function. So for the circle, we have 
A equals one, B equal one, C equals zero, D equals zero, E equals zero, and F equals to negative R square. Now you can see that all of these other functions can also be defined using this general function. Now let's have a look at how we can create our Python program. On the top here, I import everything that I built in. These might vpython and playsound might come built, built into your Python editor, but if not, you will have to install them. Scene.range equals 15. So here I am choosing the size of our scene from vpython. Here define angle equals 2 times pi. We will use this later on. Here I define a function shoot. And it will use this play sound to play the sound shoot.mp3. Shoot.mp3 is a file in my current folder right now. If you want to play a sound from a different folder, you will have to type in the whole path. Here I have explode for when the firework explodes. Here I define a function for my parabola. This is when the firework shoots into the air. So it will not shoot straight. It will first shoot like this and then a parabola. This function here is for when our firework explodes. So the sparks will come out also in the shape of parabolas. So this is for the second Python program I showed you. This is for the top of our fireworks. So the, the parabolas will be a bit more like this. And this is for the bottom of our, para of our firework. So the parabolas will be more sharp. Now here I define another function, which will return a vector. In this while true loop, I have a1 equals threading dot thread, target equals shoot. So threading will basically let Python do perform more than one task at once. So without threading, it will have to it will perform the tasks one by one, but I want them to play the shoot sound at not one by one. We want to play them a little more together. Here I do the same thing for explode. Here I define all these variables. This C the C variables are just for the color of my fireworks. So you know that colors are defined by the RGB scale. And I want random numbers for the RGB scale so that our program will give us randomly colored fireworks. So this is for the R of our second firework, G of our second firework. I'll modify it later on. Now, over here, I'm starting the shooting sound. I'm starting one of the shooting sound. I sleep this amount of seconds. Then I start another one. And here I start all of them. So I have five fireworks. X equals zero. Wow, X is smaller than one. Rate 100. This will let vPython go through 100 frames per second. Here, x plus equal to 1. Here, I am using this function to get x11, y11. So this is for when the fireworks shoot into the air. Now, I'm changing the position of our firework. Here, firework1.visible equals false. I want it to sort of like disappear so we can start exploding. Now I'm defining all these empty lists. Here I'm starting three exploding sounds. Now, here is when here is when our firework explodes. First I append the I append this thing to one of our lists, and then I append the sphere to that list. Make trail equals true will let the sphere, when it's moving, it will create a trail behind it. Now, here I do the same thing for the rest of the fireworks. 
Here, while x is smaller than 0 0.95, rate 50, over here I have all this. For ij in zip, this list and this list. So when we have a zip, it's like we're lining up the two lists and taking the first of each list, the second of each list, the third of each list, and so on. Now you can see all this. And finally, over here, I call visible equals false for each of our lines so that they will sort of like disappear. V dot clear trail. So here I'm clearing all our fireworks so that we can go back up. We can go back up here and start all over again. So we keep on repeating and repeating. Now I will run this one more time. Here you can see the top of our fireworks we have parabolas like this and at the bottom they're kind of more droopy. Now let's just have a quick look at our other fireworks. So previously we have our lines and I have a function that's a parabola. Here you can change a function to a straight line function or you can get creative and here I have my line in a function of a circle. So you can try an ellipse, or maybe the wavy things you get from signing and cosigning, and so on. This is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called NetsEDU. Today is March 4th, 2020. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.